Today I will show you one of the ways to draw a snow globe with winter scenery and idea inside it. I will be using standard Procreate brushes and a few brushes from my Sweet Putty brush set. You can download it together with the color palette through the link in the description. If you post your drawing on Instagram, don't forget to tag me and I will share it in my stories. And now, without further ado, let's get started! The canvas size in this drawing is 2000 by 2000 pixels. First of all, I will go to the background layer and I will change its color, for example, into this light blue, just in order not to draw on the white canvas. After that, I will go to select the monoline brush from calligraphy and this brown color from my color palette. I will set the brush size to 15% and start drawing the ellipse. I will tap my finger on the canvas to make its axis horizontal. Then I will duplicate this layer twice. I will make one of the layers invisible, then go to one of the rest and click on transform. With magnetics on, I will move the ellipse down this way. Let me zoom to connect these two shapes with a straight line. I can edit simply by tapping on the edit button. Ok, now I will do the same on the opposite side, drawing the straight line and I will move it. Ok, next I will merge these two layers and fill this part with the color. And now we need to erase the lines that we don't need. I will do it with the studio pen selected as the eraser. Let me increase the size. Here I will go this way. And same here. There is also another way to erase. For that I will go to selection and with the free hand I will select the area that needs to be erased. After that, I will swipe the fingers down and click on Cut. OK. Let's go to this layer and make it visible. After that, I will go to Transform and with magnetics on, I will move this layer down. Then I will scale it by dragging this dot in the center and move it a little up. I will duplicate this layer two times. I will make one of the layers invisible and then I will go to transform tool and with magnetics on I will move one of the visible layers down. I will scale it by dragging this dot in the center. I will make it bigger. Let me zoom in and I will set the brush size to 15% again. I will connect these two shapes with a line. I can edit the line. Ok, let's do the same on the opposite side. Let's edit. 
now it is fine. We can merge these layers and I will fill them with the color. After that we need to erase the lines that we don't want to be seen. Here I will increase the size to make it faster. Let me erase this line too. And here I will go this way. On the other side I will try to repeat the shape. Like this. Ok, let's go to this layer, make it visible. And I will move it down too. Then scale. Approximately to this size. Then move it up. Let me duplicate it. And move down. Ok. And this time I will connect these parts with a vertical line. Let's do the same here. Let's merge and fill. And then erase. This is probably the most boring part of the drawing, but we need to do it to make our shapes parallel and make the drawing look nice. Ok, I will erase this line here. And here too. And here I will go this way. Let's check if we erased everything. Ok, this one. Now it is time to merge these three layers. I think I will go to transform tool to move it a little up. And then I also want to make it a little wider. Like this, just dragging to the sides. Ok, now the place is perfect. We can pick this second brown color and I will be using the monoline brush again. Creating a new layer and I will place it below this one. I will be drawing another ellipse here. Connecting this way. And I'm tapping my finger on the canvas again to make the shape parallel to the horizon. Let's drag this dot and I will drop the color inside. Then draw in the second ellipse. Doing the same. I can also edit. And fill. And finally the last one. I can also move it a little up. Ok, and fill in. 
Let's go to Eraser and I will select the monoline brush from Calligraphy. I will be erasing this way in the shape of a novel. I can also edit this shape. This way, drag in here. And after that, I will go to selection and with the free hand, I will select this area. Then swipe three fingers down and click on cut. As you see, this part will disappear. It's a very good option if you want to erase a big part. Let's select this dark blue color and I will create a new layer and place it below the second layer. Let's draw this ellipse again. I will adjust it a little and drag the color inside. I will go to Adjustments and click on Gaussian Blur to blur it, but not much, around 8%. After that, I will create a new layer and place it below this one. I will be drawing the cast shadow for the future globe. It will go this way. I will drag the color and I will change the opacity to 45%. Then I'm going to adjustments and I will blur it but this time around 12.5%. Let's start shading the stand. For that I will create a new layer above this one and clip it. I will select the darkest brown color and go to the sweet party. To select the sugar brush. I will set the opacity to 50% and also increase the size. Start drawing from the right side, go into the center, vertically. Then I will switch to this light brown color and continue drawing here in the middle. Try to make this transition soft by lowering the pressure of your pencil. Then let's select the lighter tone and I will lower the brush size to draw here in the center of the stand. Then I will select this color here and draw this way on the left. And in the end I will switch to the light brown again and draw here on the edge. Ok. Now let's go to this layer and I will also create a layer and select clipping mask. Let's start shading from this brown color on the sides. First on the right side, and then go to the left. The brush opacity is around 50% still, and I will also add some shading in the middle. Then switch into this yellowish color. And I will add these highlights here and also here, slightly. 
then I will change my brush for the soft airbrush lower the size but full opacity I will draw these shapes here holding and then I will move it like this so that it is slightly visible doing the same for the rest of the shapes Okay, it is done. I'm going to select this light blue color from the color palette and the sugar brush from Sweet Party. On this layer, I will be drawing on the right side of the stand to add the reflected light. Drawing vertically without any angles and I'm lowering the pressure of my pencil while going to the center. After that I will create a new layer below the stand, grab this dark blue color and the monoline brush. Let's draw a circle here. I will move it up and place it in the center. Then drag the color inside. I will select this brownish color and create a new layer below the circle just to fill these small gaps. And on the other side too. Looks much better now. Next I'm going to this layer and I will click on select, then go into the color wheel and I'm double tapping on the white area to select the white color. I will be using it together with the monoline brush on a new layer. Since this circle is selected, what we draw on the new layer will not go outside its shape. I'm drawing the curve this way. Then I will connect it and drag the color inside. The globe layer is still selected and I'm going to create a new one above and pick this light blue color from the color palette. I will draw another curve that will go this way. Of course we need to connect the edges to be able to fill this shape with the color. After that I will create one more layer above this one and I will switch to this light brown color. This time I will draw the arc at the bottom. Connect its edges and drag the color inside. After that I will go to Gaussian Blur and blur it, not much. I think that's enough. Now we should go back to this layer and I want to smudge one of its edges with a smudge tool set as the soft air brush. With the low size I'm working on this shape just going alongside this way slightly we are making the transition soft between these two layers and also adding this snow feeling I'm going back to the white color and let's select the fat nozzle brush from spray paints. 
on this white layer I will draw this way adding this snowy texture and also adding some dynamics I think this brush is perfect to create in this snow. Okay, fine. Now we can merge these three layers and I will go to eraser set it to monoline brush we will erase these edges here to define the thickness of the glass of our snow globe you can make it thicker if you want I think I will add a little here and let's do the same on the other side okay we made it and now we can draw the fir tree inside the globe for that I will create a new layer pick the green color and the studio pen let's start from top and going down with these small curvy shapes just imagine the fir tree fluffy with lots of branches here at the bottom too and same on the other side they get smaller on top and here I connect then I'm just dragging the color inside I want to fix a few branches here make them a little bigger and after that I will place the fir tree a little down Next I want to add some shading, for that I will create a new layer and clip it. Go into the sweet party to select the red brush. I am using the same color and this brush has the interesting feature that every new stroke is darker than the previous one. I am going with this brush all over the shape of the fir tree. I'm imagining how the branches are located and how they create shadows for each other. So I'm using this feature of the brush to add these shadows. One over here. I'm changing the brush size here and there all the time. Maybe it can be a little difficult to use this brush at first, but later you will get used to it. I like the effect it gives. After that I will create a new layer and select the white color from the color wheel. Going to select the sugar cloud brush to add some snowflakes on the fir tree. I will apply more pressure on the upper parts and lowering it when going down to make the snow a little transparent. And not so bright. I 
drawing this way all over the shape. I think we are done with the snow. I will go to this base layer and I will select the soft airbrush as the smudge tool. With this brush I will be smudging here at the lower part of the fir tree with a low brush size. I will try to do it quickly and I won't do it all over the fir tree, just here on the white area where it is more visible. Ok, we finished. Then I will create a new layer below the fir tree and I will select this dark blue color from the color palette together with the soft brush. I want to add shadow under the tree. I will lower the size and I can also go with the smudge tool to change its shapes until I am fully satisfied with it. A little bit here. I can also move it a little down like this. I'm going to this layer to reduce its opacity to 77%. After that I will go to Actions and click Insert a photo. I will select the deer silhouette from my gallery. You can get the deer along with the brushes and the color palette at the link below if you haven't yet by now. I will place the deer this way, adjust the size and I also want to move the fur tree, for that I will merge its layers and select together with the shadow layer. Moving a little to the left. It is fine now, we can start working on the deer. First of all I will make all layers invisible by tapping here. Let me zoom in and I will drag this brown color inside the deer silhouette. This will be our base color. Now we need to add shading to it. I will grab this tone and I will be using the sugar cloud brush, same as we used for the snow, creating a new layer and clipping it. Let's start from the limbs. I will draw like this, reducing the size, adding the first shading. I will also go up like this and here on the back. Let's also add this color on the head a little bit, on the ears. Then I will switch to the darkest tone. Also adding this shade on the limbs, on the inner part and here on the outside. Let's draw here and on the front limbs too. You can open a deer photo if you hesitate or you can repeat after me. Let's add 
this color on the ears too on the head now let's go lighter first this light brown color I will add it on the neck on this part of the body too on the upper parts of the limbs as you see I'm changing the size of the brush all the time playing around adding the shades of colors everywhere let's go even lighter I will add this color here also on the neck and now let's go to select tool and with the free hand I will select this area over here let me grab the white color still using the sugar cloud brush I will add this color slightly here on the belly I will go to the color palette and select this darkest brown color creating a new layer and go into inking to select the studio pen brush I will reduce its size and draw this shape here for the nose dragging the color inside and then I'm going to smudge tool which is set to soft airbrush and I will smudge this shape up on the face this way then let's go back to the studio pen brush to draw the eyes that have this almond shape and small lashes this one too then I will select the white color and add this tiny light reflection inside the eye let's change the brush for the soft airbrush go into the shading layer I will reduce the brush size and opacity to draw like this under the nose on the neck highlighting this area I will create a new layer, clip it and go to the color palette to select this lightest brown color and the driven snow brush from elements. We will add these spots on the deer's body. I'm changing the brush size a few times. Then I will create a new layer above the shading layer and set it to screen with the same light brown color I will select the airbrush to add even more highlighted area on the limbs first I will draw here slightly you know deers have these bones that pop up so we can define these bones with these highlights one more here and I think I can also highlight the neck a little more also the ears this one 
from inside and I will define these areas around the eyes well the deer seems to be ready all I have to do is to erase small parts of the limbs with a soft airbrush and on the base layer to make it look like they drown in snow this way fine let's go to this layer and duplicate it then I will drag one of the circles on top of all layers and I will unclip it after that I will change its color into white by dragging it looks a little like a lamp then I will pick the dark blue color and create a new layer below all layers for the background I will change the color into light blue and the brush into soft airbrush I will draw here at the bottom of the canvas let me increase the opacity again and then I can blur it around 32 percent selecting the dark blue color again and the sugar brush let's increase the size and i will draw on this transition between two colors to make it look like snow let's go to the layer with the white circle and I will add the layer mask to it I will select the black color and the soft brush from airbrushing on this layer mask I will be drawing with this brush this way erasing the parts of the glass I will erase inside and on the sides where we defined the thickness of the glass ok then I will switch back to the white color reduce the brush size and I will draw this shape here Then I can merge these two layers. I will create a new one and go to the layer with the blue circle and click on select. After that on this new layer I will draw with the white color and the soft brush this light spot. If you want you can blur it but it's not necessary it's up to you this layer is still selected and I will create a new layer below the glass go into elements to pick the driven snow brush let's draw some snow inside the globe I will change the brush size go even smaller and after that I will erase the parts on the edges I think I want to make the deer more visible for that I'm moving the snow and I will erase again on these parts our snow globe is ready I hope you've learned something by following this tutorial or simply by watching it 
If you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to check my playlist, subscribe and turn notifications on. Don't forget to tag me in your Instagram post so that I can see it and feature in my stories. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.